Eminet Shyamalan is an Indian American film director, screenwriter, sometimes actor in his own films, known for making movies with contemporary supernatural plot twists and surprise endings. He has written and directed quite a number of films. Some great, many bad, and some that are not bad but not great at the same time. He has also written for movies that are okay and that are enjoyably stupid. Overall, M. Night Shyamalan is a very unique artist. Some say he's imaginative and creative, while others say he's stupid and doesn't even try when it comes to making movies. And in many ways, both sides are right. As many should know, Shyamalan has a unique style when it comes to his films. Like the obvious one, the plot twist. Hmm. What a twist! Ah, uh, yes, yes. When everyone watches a Shyamalan film, they expect a twist soon to be revealed. This is due to his first and arguably his greatest film, The Sixth Sense, which withholds one of the greatest plot twists in movie history. Oh, and a quick warning, there will be some spoilers ahead. You have been warned. It's movies such as The Sixth Sense that allow audiences to have respect for M. Night Shyamalan. When I saw The Sixth Sense for the first time, I completely forgot that it was directed by M. Night Shyamalan, and it didn't surprise me that after the release of his movie, people were calling him the next Spielberg. And then, uh, I think of his later movies such as The Happening and The Last Airbender, and I wonder, what the f*** went wrong? This brings me to my big question. Is M. Night Shyamalan respectable? Well, if you look at M. Night Shyamalan's movie progress from The Sixth Sense all the way down to The Last Airbender, and yes, I do mean all the way down, you'll notice that the quality of his films has dropped a considerable amount. Many people enjoyed Shyamalan's first three films and believed that The Village was the beginning of his downfall. Many would argue that Shyamalan got caught up in his fame and lost sight of what was good and what was practically shit. But many people fail to recognize that Shyamalan's third movie, Signs, had its problems too. The dialogue was strange. I'm going to board up every window in this house. I don't know boards will do anything. Because they seem to have trouble with pantry doors. And the plot twist. Water. Really? I mean, for technologically advanced aliens, I would assume that they knew 71% of the Earth is covered by water. And that it could rain at any moment, but whatever. I'm sure the aliens knew what they were doing. From the village all the way to After Earth, I think it's safe to say that we have seen some pretty major shit. Let's take a walk down memory lane, shall we? Look. What are you doing? Oh. When he's near. Everything goes wrong. Toast, throws jelly side down. Could you look up the word narf for me? It's an East End bedtime story, Mr. Heap. We're packing hot dogs for the road. You know, hot dogs get a bad rap. Got a cool shape, they got protein. You like hot dogs, right? I hear you whispering. Planning on stealing something? No, ma'am, we're not. Plan on murdering me in my sleep? What? No! Now, it wasn't until about 11 years later, from the release of The Village on, that M. Night Shyamalan wrote and directed a film considered to be his comeback. This film, as you may know, is called The Visit, which not only disturbed audiences, but gave Shyamalan his frightening credibility back. Many people watched this movie and were relieved to find out it wasn't another airbender happening. I would ask my friends and other people what they thought of the movie, and they would always say, Ah, oh, it was so great, you have to see it. And so I did. By the end of the film, I was slightly disappointed, though. There weren't any good jump scares, and the characters are kind of stupid. I mean, did the mother even bother checking to see who was going to take her kids to their house? Also, whenever the daughter complained about her grandparents acting strange, all the mother would say is, Oh, they're just old, don't worry about it. <laughs> Another thing that annoyed me is that no one bothered to tell me that the son is cringy as hell. I mean, he made me shudder more than the grandparents did, and that's saying something. But even though it wasn't the best horror film, it was still enjoyable and it was definitely better than his six previous films. 
Then finally came the Shyamalan film that people were waiting to see. That movie was Split. This psychological thriller really surprised audiences, with outstanding acting and a plot twist that no one was expecting at all. Split, in my opinion, is M. Night Shyamalan's true comeback movie, and Shyamalan definitely deserves respect points for it. Now, back to my big question. Is M. Night Shyamalan respectable? Well, it may be a hard question to answer, and it definitely was for me. But in the end, I have to say that... Yeah, he is. Sure, Shyamalan may have directed some pretty bad stuff over the years, but he's also directed some movies that I would definitely see again, and try to get others to watch as well. I used to think that Shyamalan was a horrible director, but at the time, I had seen so many bad movies of his that I kind of lost faith in him. Then I remembered The Sixth Sense, an outstanding film that has influenced my love of movies and making films a great deal. In doing so, I decided to give him another chance. Now he's directed Split, which is a fantastic movie, and I'm anxious to see his future films to come. As I said before, Shyamalan is a unique artist who hopefully has shown us that he has learned from his ways of weird dialogue, boring characters, and having actors look straight in the camera by creating a kick-ass film, and hopefully for more of them to come. Well guys, I put a lot of work into this video, and I hope that it was helpful to you in some way. Let me know in the comments below whether you think Shyamalan is respectable or not. If you want to support this channel, then please hit that subscribe button, and I hope to see you next time on Torchlight Studios. Also guys, if you haven't already seen it, you should definitely check out the award-winning short film my friends and I made. Thanks so much guys, and I hope you stay tuned to more videos like these.